Today we've got the ultimate red breast sherry battle. Red breast Listo versus red breast PX. Welcome to Four Leaf Whiskey. So I've been wanting to do this one for quite a while. These are two of my favorites. And honestly, on paper, they're they're pretty similar. You have two single pot still whiskeys from Redbreast. You have two sherry finished whiskeys. You have two whiskeys that are both 46% ABV. And that's where the similarities end. These two taste completely different. They smell completely different. And the availability is completely different. Redbreast still still is part of the Redbreast core lineup. This bottle is available worldwide. It has been out of stock in some places. Red Breast, I think it's having some trouble keeping up with demand. We're drinking a lot of Irish whiskey. And this just recently became back in stock in Ohio. I'm sure if it's out of stock in your state, it probably will be restocked uh, fairly soon. This is the, it's the original in the core lineup. And this one retails for about $70, $80. Red Breast PX is a limited release that was released in, I think it was December of 2021. Uh, this one is going to be a lot harder to find. A lot of Irish whiskey drinkers snap these up by the case. I've gone through, this is my fourth bottle myself, and I never thought I would have a whiskey that I would go through four bottles. I'd love to find more of these. These are available still in a few U.S. states, like I said. Uh, the price, the retail price on this was, I believe, $105 right around there. Um, you're probably going to see that price fluctuate on the secondary just because it is a limited release and it's really hard to find. But let's get into how these actually taste. The Listo was finished in Oloroso Sherry Cast from Bodegas Listo. It's a very nice, almost an orangey color, very dark gold. So Listo, honestly, this is one of my favorite noses of all Irish whiskeys that I own behind me. The nose on this, I get marzipan. Um, and for those of you who are, who are bakers, you know, marzipan is an almond paste that you use frequently in baking. And I always get that on the nose. It's such a, such a gorgeous nose. You get just that honey almond. You get some of the woody notes come through with, with the Listo quite a bit. Some vanilla. A little bit of fig. The almond and the wood come through really nice on the palate. A long finish, this one's a little oilier. A lot of the almond, the woody notes, the sweetness from the honey, getting some vanilla. Definitely getting a little bit of fig coming through. A little bit of um, orange zest, just a little bit, but I am getting some of the citrus notes on here. A little dry at the end, Long, longer finish on this one. And, and some baking spices coming through. Not quite clove, more, more like a nutmeg or an allspice, not quite as, as sharp as clove. You do have a little bit of that drying at the end. I noticed on this one more, I do get more of the wood tannins coming through on this one more. I get more of those woody notes, which, which I actually appreciate about it. So the finish on the Listo is long, it's it's lingering. Um, I put the glass down almost a full minute ago. I can still taste it, it's still, it's still going. But it has a really gorgeous long finish. So let's try the PX. The Redbreast PX was aged in bourbon and in Oloroso Sherry casks before being further finished in these Pedro Jimenez casks. Uh, this has also a very, very nice dark gold color. Unfortunately, the color is deceiving on both of these because i um, pretty sure across the board, IDL does allow artificial coloring in their whiskey. The nose on this one is very different. Um, you get much more of a candied nose to this one, a lot more citrus, you get a lot of orange, not quite the orange zest like the Listo. I'm getting more like actual orange. I like those candied orange slices, those little sugar coated candy oranges, those little jelly things. Getting some chocolate, like some milk chocolate. The nose is not quite as strong as it is on the Listo. This is such a lovely pour. Honestly, the first thing I think of when I have Red Rust PX are those, those Terry's chocolate oranges at Christmas time, the little the chocolate candy that's actually shaped like the orange and has the orange flavoring in it. A lot of chocolate orange on this one right up front. A little bit of the woody notes. Definitely get some vanilla, some honey. The wood is 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 there, but it's not it's not a huge amount, not like a list of. It's it's just a hint of it. A um, little bit of spice, um, but more 
definitely more of like a nutmeg. Um, it, it's not as sharp as the Listo at all. Um, much kind of sweeter, creamier mouthfeel, a creamier whiskey. Doesn't have quite as long a finish as the Listo either. Not quite as oily. Uh, it is still, I mean, being a pot still, it is still oily, but it's just not quite as oily. So after the the initial citrus fades, the, the what I'm getting on the finish is that chocolate. It's like a really, like a nice, like good chocolate. Like when you actually spend money for like a Ghirardelli or a Lindor, it, it's that, or Cadbury is what it really reminds me of. It's like, it's that good quality milky chocolate. And that just lingers. It's one of the reasons why I really like PX. It, it's dessert in a glass, but it's dessert in a glass with that pot still spice. It's, it's balanced between the sweet and spice. Definitely leans more towards the sweet side. Whereas I think Listo leans more into that spice a little bit more. But I, it's still balanced. It's not overwhelming to the point where you can't get any of the pot still spice coming through. You do still get a little bit of it coming through. So choosing between Red Breast Listo, Red Breast PX, it's kind of like donuts. There's not a bad one. Whichever one you don't pick is still good. If you like more of a spicy, a little bit more woody notes, you might prefer Listo. If you like a sweeter whiskey with some citrus and chocolate, you're probably going to like the PX. The Listo is going to be a lot easier to find. Um, it's a little bit cheaper in price. It's Again, it's around 80 bucks. This PX, I believe, it was around 105, 110 when it released. Um, you're going to see a lot of secondary markup on this one just because it was a limited release and it's getting harder and harder to find. They're both phenomenal single pot still whiskeys. They're both great examples of sherry finishes from Red Breast. I, I'm looking forward to what they continue in this Iberian series. So far, these are both hitters. If I have to pick between the two, I love the nose on Listo. I think that I would definitely give that the edge for, for the nose. I love the palette on the PX, and that's why I would probably pick the PX just slightly over the Listo. It's just, it's really sweet, which I gravitate towards sweeter whiskey. Um, I do love the woody notes on the Listo. I kind of wish this had a little bit more of that. It's, it's a unique offering from Red Breast. Uh, there's a reason why Irish whiskey drinkers snapped this up like it was freaking gold. Um, I know the state of Ohio sold out of all of the bottles in the entire state within three weeks. And I'm pretty sure most of those went to my friends and me. Um, if you can still find this, um, I definitely do think it's worth picking up. I would not pay too much over MSRP. I mean, I wouldn't go above 130, 140 for it. I do think it's worth that. Um, you see them pop up on secondary actually still fairly often, but trying to pick between the two of them. If you like a little more spice, a little more woody notes, you're probably going to prefer a Listo. If you like a little bit of sweeter citrus chocolate, you're probably going to like PX. Please like and subscribe and enjoy some Irish whiskey. It's 46 days to St. Patrick's Day. Sláinte.